Hi, Russell Taylor here, and today I'm going to show you how I manage um, my Gmail accounts or different Gmail accounts across different Chrome browsers. Now, why would you need different Chrome browsers or different windows to open up? Well, if you had more than one person using the same computer, you wouldn't perhaps want to be logging in and logging out of their Gmail account every time you opened up Chrome. Um, also, their bookmarks bar at the top here might be different to uh, the bookmarks that you want. And if you're all using the same computer, the bookmarks bar will get real busy. Um, I'm just going to take you over to my profile over here. And let's just open up a uh, um, home page over here just to show you um, that I don't... If I, if I just used one Google Chrome browser... Any time I wanted to change from one Gmail address to another, I would have to log in and log out and change my account over here like this. This way, you don't have to do that. You can just open up a new browser by, if you have a look here, it says here, Russell, so I'm logged in as Russell. If I click, I've got a whole list of <coughs> names down here. Now, when you first start, you're not going to have this. These are my clients and some of my own profiles, etc., that I've added to this. So every time I push one of these buttons, it opens up a completely brand new browser, and you'll see them over here with a completely different tool, I mean, uh, bookmarks bar, which is unique to each Gmail account that I've logged in. That way I'm not logging in and logging out of Gmail accounts, and it makes it real easy just to switch between one to the other. Here you can see it's a completely different um, bookmarks bar um, with different bookmarks to this one over here. So how do we achieve this? Well, in order to add a profile or a person as they call it, um, Chrome has allowed us by clicking this button up here in the top right hand corner and going to settings allows us to add people to our computer. So what we do is if you scroll down here you'll see it says people. Now I have a bunch of people already added in here but you will just have um, your current person whoever is in there at the moment and if you've not assigned an icon it'll just be a little blank thing and it'll just say current so what we do is we scroll down and we go to add a person now once you get that you would then assign uh, give them a name so let's say name and then we would assign a icon now if the person or the gmail account did have a profile picture it would pull that in as well um, and then let's just click add. Now once you do this it's going to open up another browser as you can see down here and of course I have that little ninja icon and the first time you open it as you can see your bookmarks bar is completely empty and there's really nothing over here um, at all. So in order to get this started what you need to do is assign a Gmail account to this personal profile and what you would do is the first time you click on this and because this has never been signed in this profile is never signed into a Gmail account it's going to take you to the Gmail account uh, sign up page now if you already have a Gmail account with a profile I mean with a username and password you can sign in here or if you're creating a completely new uh, profile at the moment you can then go and create a new profile with a new Gmail account and assign it to this um, browser window that will open I'm going to X out of this just so that um, I can show you a few more features why I like uh, switching between these different um, browsers as opposed to having to log in and log out of the same browser. As you can see, I can open up numerous tabs in this browser. I can even open up, if I clicked here, I could even open up another um, <coughs> a complete new window um, in this, um, under this profile. So uh, let me see here, um, let me go over here. For instance, if I just move this window out over here, as you can see, this is now still under Russell, but I'm only open this one tab over there. If I X out of there, I'm still in as Russell, and I've opened it, um, as you can see, there's two different tabs over there. As you can see, if you have a look carefully here, I have two um, windows open under that um, profile. Under this one, I only have one. Under this one, I only have one. And under this one, I only have one. So it's a real easy way to be able to have numerous browsers, especially if you're like me, have a bunch of clients, or even if you have um, family members who 
of course, like to bookmark their own things, and you also don't want them to, every time they log into um, Chrome, would then log into uh, your Gmail account, et cetera, et cetera. So that way you can keep sort of everything separate. Now, as you saw for me, I didn't really uh, have to add any passwords to log into anything. And what I do is I use a password manager right over here. It's called LastPass. Um, I'm going to show you how I use LastPass, which is a free uh, extension for Google Chrome. And it's also actually for other browsers as well, Firefox and um, uh, Internet Explorer, etc. But this is a very, very useful tool, and I will show you how I use this tool to manage all my passwords across all my websites, across all my clients' websites, and I literally have thousands of um, uh, passwords to remember, and this is an easy way for me to do it. So I hope that helped you in um, setting up your profiles under Google Chrome. This way it will make your life a, a lot easier, faster to be able to access the different Gmail accounts that you have either for yourself or you manage for a customer. Also any uh, accounts linked to that Gmail account that you've logged into such as any of your documents, um, you'll be able to access that straight away from there. Um, any spreadsheets that you create in Google Docs um, as opposed to um, having to log in and log out of a Gmail account. So anyway, um, visit me at uh, katush.com. Let's just go over there and let's, this is my website. Um, let's just go over there and just see what is, I have a digital marketing agency, um, but I also teach people how to um, run their lives a lot easier using services and if you come over to my blog I will post this um, video um, with the any links that I have um, in order to make your life a lot easier so you just come over to blog and this one I will call uh, Google Chrome uh, management and so I haven't set it up yet but that's what I will do um, so I hope you have a great day and hope this helps you make your workflow a lot easier and also the other thing just before I leave when you have set up an account like this or a Google Chrome whichever computer you ever go to anywhere in the world once you sign into your Gmail account your toolbar will be brought up like that and just to show you just in case nothing um, you didn't don't get this toolbar over here there is under settings over here there is one thing that you need to check to bring up that toolbar. So under the settings here, it's always show the bookmarks bar. I'm calling it a toolbar. It's actually a bookmarks bar over here. I also, also like to show the home button, and I always like to click open up a new tab um, over there. So, and then if you need to delete any of your, um, oh, goodness, I'm moving the, let's get this a little smaller here. If you need to delete any of these people, you can come in here and let me just move it up here. I can delete this person here, which is the test, remove. So anybody that you want to remove, this one I need to do, which is another test, I can remove it. So any profiles that you have here that you want to remove, you can remove after you've assigned it. So anyway, that's uh, all I have for you today. Hope you have a great day and uh, speak to you soon. Bye.